Mr Speaker, today the government is in Geneva defending their policies to the UN's committee investigating the UK for breaches in the Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, including Article 28, the right of disabled people for social protection. Given that between 2012 and 2019, when disabled people's social security support was drastically cut, and where austerity was found to be responsible for over 148,000 avoidable deaths, how will the new wave of austerity announced in the budget uh, affect the health and well-being of disabled people? Yeah. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to make it very clear to this House the Government is committed to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Persons with Disabilities and looks forward to outlining the UK's progress in advancing the rights of disabled people across this country. Our National Disability Strategy, the Disability Action Plan are delivering tangible progress. This includes ensuring disabled customers can use the services they are entitled to, as we have spelt out today. Disabled people's needs are better reflected in planning for emergencies as well. We are making sure this country is the most accessible and, importantly, equal place to live in the world.